Thank you for joining us again here at the Heart.org booth. This is Manesh Patel from Duke University, and I'm at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions uh, 2011. I have the pleasure of talking about one of the recent late-breaking trials presented by Dr. Lowry of Glasgow, Scotland. That's correct. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the background of the study? Sure. Background of the study. We know that medicines for heart failure they aren't prescribed as often as they should, particularly in primary care, and we know that the doses are suboptimal in comparison with guidelines. We know that these medicines, if they were prescribed properly, um, would impact favourably on key outcomes for this patient group. We also know that pharmacists in primary care in particular, in the US and elsewhere in the world, they have the potential to improve prescribing through collaborative uh, combination with family physicians. Therefore, we put both together and we conducted what is probably the longest a and largest a randomised controlled trial involving pharmacists and patients with LVSD in the primary care setting. Wonderful. So you did an intervention trial, a cluster randomised trial yeah. with pharmacists with uh, patients with heart failure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what did you find? Well, the findings were that there was a modest improvement in the prescribing and dosing of disease-modifying medicines, a particularly ACE inhibitors, less so beta blockers. Uh, the findings uh, didn't stretch so far as to impact favourably on the primary outcomes or any of the secondary outcomes, however. The primary outcome was death from any cause or um, hospitalisation for heart failure. And the main secondary outcome was death from any cause, hospitalisation for cardiovascular reasons. Uh, the pharmacist intervention failed to impact favourably on those outcomes um, over the longer term. However, the trial was neutral in that sense but there were no safety problems as a result, so at least that's a bonus. Yeah, so it seems as though you clearly improved some of the process and adherence, but weren't able to affect at least the outcomes measured about death and, and rehospitalization. That's right, yeah. yeah. What do you think are the next steps? Next steps have got to be, I think, provision of a more intense intervention, because the pharmacist's medication review with the patients, it lasted on average half an hour. We clearly need to do more to try and impact on that patient group. And I think also there'll be a focus on adherence to medicines because that's not something we were able to change or target as part of this intervention because the intervention was family medical centre based rather than based in a place where the patients can pick up their medicines and receive repeated support. Yeah, so certainly more intensity and more adherence. Absolutely, perhaps also targeting a slightly different patient group, those who are more likely to benefit, although maintaining the primary care focus because that's the key. Well, thanks again for presenting another wonderful study here, and uh, thanks for joining us again here at the Heart.org booth.